Right, we're on. I'm here at Cardona Golf Club today. I'm with Fraser Mann, Scottish PGA professional and Scotland's number one short game coach. He's going to show me how to play a bunker shot without any sand. Practice your bunker shots anywhere, I guess. Right, Fraser, you're going to show me how to play bunker shots today. Yeah. I feel as though my bunker plays pretty good or yeah. decent. Yeah, nice I can shot. Get it out. Nice shot. Do you know what? There's somebody coming behind us. It would be great to be able to practice bunker play without actually having to hold up play, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, what, what I can do, I can show you how I teach uh, where, where people can practice anywhere, anytime, bunker swings. So a bunker shot with no sand? Yeah. Right, yeah. Let's go and do that. Yeah. Perfect, let's go. Right, Fraser, I was in the bunker. We ran out of time because somebody was behind us and you're going to show me how to play a bunker shot with no sand. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So this is uh, a, a teaching system that I used, I've used for years where uh, we don't have a bunker to practice out of. Yeah. And what, it, what, it, what I work on, it's the same principle of being able to get the club face open at impact, yep. understanding what open is. If you have the club face square at impact when you're, when you're hitting a, a bunker shot, the tendency is that you'll have no bounce and the bounce is the back of the wedge. And if you have the club face open, you have, you have a lot of bounce and the club will bounce underneath the ball and that helps the ball out of the bunker. Okay. But the but the, the two things you, you need to do to be able to play good bunker shots consistently is have the club face open at impact and, and that, that basically gives you lots of loft. And with the more loft that you have, you have to have speed. And that's the second important thing when you're playing out of a bunker. Okay. You have to have the speed of the club coming through, which explodes the sand underneath the ball and the ball pops up in the, in the air. So if you've got a high lip in front of you, yep. The, the, the most important thing is the speed of the club makes the ball jump up and that's when you get great loft coming out of a bunker and you also get the ball stopping quickly. So also what you have, the great bunker players, what they do is they look as if they're hitting the ball very, very hard. Yeah, a lot of speed, yeah. A lot of speed. And that's what they've done over time is their timing's very, very good. But the, but the principle is club face open at impact, the club hitting underneath the ball and the ball going a short distance. So, so what you have to be able to do is when you're hitting a, a, a shot, so what I, what, what, what I do is I, I, I tee the ball up with different heights of, of, of uh, tees. Okay. And what I, what I work on This is, is crazy. So we're practicing a bunker shot off grass. I love this. Yeah. Carry on. Sorry, I was so, just thinking out loud. So, 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 so my first shot is that the, the aim, the aim of this exercise is to hit the tee underneath the ball and if you do that with speed the ball should just drop down or it should go a very very short short distance right okay so, so you're, you're physically trying to hit the tee here yeah so if we if we're going towards the, the the flag the flag here my first shot will probably only go there okay so it's club face open aim a little bit to the left it's the same thing club face open and the club goes straight underneath the the ball so in fact you can see there, I've smashed the tee, and the ball's actually gone backwards. Gone, gone, gone backwards. So I never touched the ball at all. Yeah. But if the ball and that's it, so that's encouraged speed, speed, bounce of the club being used bounce, correctly, and keeping the club face open and at maintaining impact. loft. Yep. Because what happens? What I find with 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 pupils, that what they do is they start out in that position, but when they hit the ball, they hit in that yeah. position. Which is which is natural because you put a five iron. That's what you try and do. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's trying yeah. to get that, maintain yeah. that, and this yeah. drill here is going to that exercise is going to get yeah. you there. But but the other thing that I'm also going to add in as well, which I forgot to mention, yep. is before you even take up your think about swinging, mm -hmm. is when you grip the club. Uh -huh. I always look to try and make sure that my left thumb is on the left side of the of the club. Okay. And my right hand is on the top and my left my right thumb is on the left side so i'm in a very what i call weak position yeah. which holds the club face open open impact okay yes yeah, so, so. So, so so that's pre setting up in the before you hit the shot so you've got a weaker grip so hands more towards target so if there is any closing of the face or manipulation of the hands you're not closing the face you're just yeah, you're still keeping yeah. loft on. It's very hard to close the face. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's very hard to close the face. So here yeah. we here, here we now go into the second ball, and 
it's it's the T's just slightly lower, very, very similar. So the, the, the grip set up, aim to the left, and then just slide underneath the ball. So again, you see what I've done is I've hit the T and the ball's just fallen falling down. Fantastic. And then gradually so the, the, the T gradually yeah, sorry, T gets lower as you yeah, go. Yeah, so there. And, it, and it's also very good, you've heard about the flop shot, Yeah. about playing a flop shot. This is a good way of learning how to play to play the flop shot. So this time, it's going to be harder to get underneath the ball, mm -hmm. but I'll probably still be able to, still be able to, 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 to do it. So there, and you see how quickly the ball stopped. The ball, the ball stopped. So there and I hit underneath it. But that's you taking hit, the sand, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, 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 and again, this one here, the Lord same tea. the same thing and you're just going under underneath it so i think it's a great way of learning so now to, with no tea now 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 with no 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 tea same club face open and weak, weak grip weak good. grip and then just sliding right. it under underneath the so ball so you're killing you're killing two birds with one stone here you're talking bunker shot and then that's been introduced into your flop shot which effectively you're hitting slightly heavy but it's not heavy because you're using the bounce yeah yeah, yeah, and it's and, and it's it's just what we've shown you there is you don't have to hit exactly at the ball. Mm -hmm. It's the action, it's the speed, speed and the club face, keeping the keeping the loft and using using the bounce. Well, you mentioned earlier, so one quick tip before we finish. You mentioned earlier, so I'm going to grab the camera and keep talking. Yeah. You mentioned earlier about opening the face in line with something. Yeah. As a so. If, if, if just to preset yourself yeah so so what I like to do is again because I do it normally I've done it all my life is I take up a, sh a bunker shot without thinking it's yeah. just it's just habit but what I like to do when I'm teaching is I like to explain when you're addressing the ball you want to play the ball towards the center of your stance because you're trying to make sure the club goes underneath the ball and you want to have the leading edge of the club pointing towards your left toe and that's a that's a very important position that you must get before you hit the shot because that is the position that you're trying to hit the ball up with a club face uh, with loads of loft on it and slightly open yeah brilliant very good Fraser thanks very much that's um that's just shows you you can you don't need sand to practice a bunker shot no, no you're practicing your no. flop shot there as well you're practicing dynamics through impact you're encouraging speed Holding the loft and understanding of the bounce. Yeah. With no yeah. sand in sight. Yeah, no sand, and you can you can see I've knocked tees onto the green. Yeah. And you saw me, me just showing you there, just with how the club slides underneath the ball. So in actual fact, when you play a bunker shot, mm -hmm. you're missing the ball. It's the only you're shot in golf you don't hit the ball. Correct. You're always hitting the sand I've, under underneath the ball. And I think of it as well. It's the only shot in golf where the club head passes the ball, which is effectively what's happened when you've gone under the tee. Yeah. Because of the loft on. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Fraser, yeah. thanks very much. Great. No, 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 no. Good. Good man. Good.